Here is the Hampton Bay Littleton ceiling fee-in from the, the Home Depot. This, I believe, is the cheapest ceiling fan currently available today, clocking in at a whopping $44 and change. I remember when these used to be $16 and change, and that was within the last 7 to 10 years. So they have uh, almost tripled in price over the last less than a decade, which is outrageous, but such is the trend of the cost of living right now. I bought it anyways even though I think that price is outrageous because I know it'll get a lot of views and probably pay for itself because that's how cheap fans are. You can record a video of a cheap product and it gets millions of views and you record something rare, valuable, expensive, hard to find, powerful, durable, long-lasting, and no one watches it. Whatever. So, this is the 42 inch ceiling fan, the white finish, white and bleach oak blades, reversible motor, 12 inch uh, hang down from the ceiling, so it'll be good for the garage here. It doesn't weigh anything. I, I can't imagine that this moves anywhere near an adequate amount of air for the garage. But all I need it to do right now is just very slowly push the heat back down. So probably do quite well with that. All right. So inside the box, we got some stuff here. We got blades and some piece of cardboard. The instruction manual, which is no longer like a book, it's like a newspaper, so that's a pain in the neck. I'm not even going to bother reading that. We got the blades with the bleach oak and the white. The white looks okay, the bleach oak looks kind of kind of cheesy. It's got like gray lines in there. I don't know why they did that. Anyways, there's that. Pull the strings. Blade irons, which really to me out of aluminium foil. Mounting bracket. Oh great, a piece of styrofoam. Just what we needed. And then here's the motor itself, which is uh, Weighs maybe two or three pounds. <laughs> oh boy. That's kind of weird. The thing isn't even closed all the way. I guess I'll let some air through there. I don't know. Bearings are noisy right out of the box. Made in China. Oh, that probably offers some explanation. Um, I don't know what the... Uh, here we go. June of 2021. So this has actually been sitting for a long time. And probably why the bearing is like that. Got the globe, which is actually glass and not plastic, which is kind of surprising. It's got a nice shape to it, too. It's not one of those cheap round ones. Oh boy, here we go. Flip an LED bulb. Doesn't weigh anything. No, it weighs an ounce. Echo Smart. Ooh. Actually, I've had decent results with Echo Smart stuff, but I don't know about LEDs. I don't like them. I guess for the garage, it'll be okay for now. And then we have the motor housing, which is it's covered in non recyclable material. see how easily this installs. And mind you, I've installed probably hundreds of ceiling fans at this point over the years. So, what's easy to me might not be easy to the average consumer. Oh my, the, 
the, the quality of the paint on this is just an atrocity. It's all like bubbled up there. It's scratched off down there. Jeez, that's worse than I was expecting. It's all nicked up on this one. That's stinking awful. If this was still $16, then I could understand that, but $14, I mean, uh, $44, it should at least be remotely decent looking. All four of them are screwed up in some way or another. My, my. Just when you think you've seen it all, it gets worse. Alright, these are all the the um, blade screws here. Company Campania de Signora Manufacturing date June 2021. It's obedient to California. So as soon as you go to California, everything that's mother in law causes cancer. Why I don't know, but that's just the way it is. I'm not sure what looks better. I don't think either one is going to look that great. I guess the oak would be more interesting. It's funny they actually took the time to put little rubber gaskets on here. But the thing is like the metal screw is going to touch the top of the blade and transfer the vibration down. And the side of it's all metal so that's going to contact the blade and, and transfer the vibration down. So it almost serves no purpose. Well, they tried something I guess. You can use a drill, but use very low torque settings. Even this is adjusted way too high. Go down to like four or something real, real low, because you'll strip it. Especially something like this. These, these screws and the irons have got to be real cheap. Screws are a pain in the neck to get started. I do not want to be doing this by hand. Looks like they included an extra screw, or they just can't count. I'm not, really not sure which one it is. Ok, 
can only imagine there's some ridiculous reason as to why there's an extra screw like the the quality control is so poor that sometimes the screw is missing or something so they just included an extra one screws are into the blade so that's set up. Now, uh, now we got to get this uh, this bracket up on the ceiling. Now the left side screw can stay in but just get loosened. The one on the right's got to come out. See that screws in there tight. And you're walking on thin ice here like that. Okay. As far as the wiring is concerned, they have it all spelled out for you which one goes where. Nice stiff tie wrap. Decent length of wire to work with. It came with these wire nuts which actually do have a metal lining inside so these might be satisfactory I suppose. So. Now I'll move over to our box and we'll attach the bracket to the ceiling. Fian has on one side a uh, a tabbed where is it this will hang this will not so this goes on this part goes on the right side I'll take the screw out first that's not going to be easy once it's up there With the screw out, you can take this and hang it temporarily like that so that you can do the wiring. So we'll make our connections here. I do not have a separate control for the fan and light. So in this particular case, the blue which is sometimes red. The blue and the black is going to go together. And then of course the white goes to the white and then the ground goes to the ground. I know this is not live so I'm just going to touch the wires and be haphazard here but obviously if it's live pay more attention. 
Now in this case, my wires are a bit too long, so I've got to snip the ends off. You shouldn't have no uh, copper showing. So we do a little bit of shortening on this here. That seem to be pretty satisfactory. I certainly hope they wouldn't skimp out on something like that. It would be a safety problem, a health and safety issue. I like to put all the connections up into the box and with this particular style of fan you got to make sure you get all the excess wire up into the box as well otherwise it will scrape up against the motor as it runs and not only is that annoying that is also a health and safety issue okay so with that like that we're going to remove these two screws on the on the left they have a little lock washer on them as well and we're going to put these in here and put the fan back up Well, I have to say, I give that mounting system an A. A lot of times these flush style fans are a total pain in the rear to hang up, but that was easy. That was very easy. I'm just checking to make sure all the wires are out of the way here. This is a good uh, a good mounting system. I am very happy with it. Sometimes these can be a real pain, but this was fine. In fact, they're probably one of the best ones I've ever worked with as far as the design goes. Okay, now with the rest of the housing up there. And it's not up against the ceiling all the way because the box is not in the ceiling. Normally the box would be in the ceiling since this is just a temporary setup. Uh, it's not. But normally the fan would go all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, looks like it's centered pretty good in here. Now I'll put the blades on. And I like to, oops, I like to use a long bit for the blades. And the screws are actually pretty, a pretty big size. <coughs> size. I'm going to use the biggest tip uh, long bit that I have and uh, it fits pretty good. So this has the infamous AccuWorm thing, so this little tip here goes in there 
And it sounds like kind of dumb and gimmicky, but it actually is super helpful. And it makes it much easier to uh, install initially and line up. I'm going to put all the blades in here just by hand and then uh, I'll go through and tighten them in a minute once they're all up there. Yeah, I mean, I don't, there's not much left to go wrong, but so far this really just gets a 10 out of 10 as far as ease of install goes. This is great. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I thought this was going to be a nuisance to install, but this in fact was quite simple. This one screw kind of cross-threaded a bit, and that was user error. you don't bend any of these irons as they go on, especially with this particular fan. They're not that strong. Alright, so I'll tighten them up now and again very low torque settings on the screwdriver. LED bulb here which I don't really like. It's also crooked. And then the globe goes on and the screws are already there so I think we just have to, have to loosen them a little bit to get it to fit on initially. Years ago these screws were all brass. Which I thought looked much nicer than these uh, silver ones. Same with the chain. The chain used to be a brass. Now it's silver. Just everything is bland and colorless nowadays. Jeez, you're really going to take these out just about all the way. on these screws to use a screwdriver so this is kind of a pain in the neck but even this this is the worst thing about it this is still ten times better than some of the other ones I've worked with all right now we're pretty much done we just got to finish off with these chain extenders I gotta do something with the cord here because you can't have that getting in the way of the blades. And you have a little hook or something up. I'll put a little hook up uh, over here just to keep the cord from getting into the blades. Over here for now. All right, 
it's plugged in. It looks like it's already running. It actually moves like a decent amount of air. Much more than I was expecting. And it's still pretty abysmal, but for a little flush mount fan, I ain't too shabby. It's loud. Bearings are loud. But, uh, huh. Well, it's a little better than I thought as far as air movement goes, but the, the bearings, this thing is kind of unacceptable. It's possible they may quiet down later on after it runs for a day or two. But out of the box, they are noisy. Well, I don't know, it's 44 beans. Super easy to assemble. Moves okay here. The noise here is fine in a garage, but if this was in the house, I couldn't tolerate it. That'd be way too annoying. <laughs>